и в Целефилм Кампани. Without You, эпизод 16. Бэйби, я не утверждаю. Ты выглядишь как эта девушка. Но маленькие дети часто выглядят как-то. Эта Клара пытается играть нас против друг друга. Не слушай ее, не доверяй ей. Окей, я сделаю ДНА-тест, если это принесет тебе счастье. Ты имеешь в виду, что я твоя биологическая дочь? Абсолютно. Я лгал ей, чтобы убедиться, что Сайко не будет тебя убивать. Эта девушка была Клара сестра, его другая дочь. Я не хотел его убивать. I really want to believe it, Dad. I really do. I love you, baby. Let go, help me! Come on! Time to have some fun! Help me! Come here! No! What for? Are you crazy? I think she's dead. What are we going to do now? Get out of here quick. Not so fast. I need my pay. Let's go. Let's go. Wait. We need to call the boss. Wait. Hello, boss. We have a bit of problem here. Shit. Looks like she's dead. She hit her head. Are you morons? Your job was to beat her up and rape her. I needed her alive. Don't do anything. Don't move the body. Wait. Take her phone and text her husband. Darling, come home or I'll kill myself. As soon as he arrives, call the cops. Because they've just broken up. Anything can happen. If we get lucky, the cops will charge him with the murder. But if you screw up again... Yes, got it, boss. You can trust us. Okay. She has to believe you. You left her the picture. I'm not sure she'll look at it. Dmitro, she hates me. I don't know what to do about it. Give her time. Anyone would have a hard time accepting the fact that they had been adopted. But being raised by your parents' murderer makes it so much worse. Nearly impossible to comprehend. Right. I know all that, but it doesn't make it easier for me. How about now? Easier? I'm not quite sure. Could you do it again? <laughs> no problem. Excuse me? I wonder who it might be. Nadia? Is she kidding me? Threatening me with suicide again. Listen, this text looks weird. Her grammar is usually better than this. Do you mind if I go check on her real quick? Sure, you should go. I'll be right back, thank you. Yeah. Your double security is double shit. You should fire the useless bastards. I bet I could get an elephant here past them. What do you want? Can you guess? Three attempts.
Me cola. Oh my god, me cola. Me cola. It can be true. It's just a dream. Clara, how about a drink? It will help. No, Aunt Lucia. A drink won't solve my problems. Listen. If it's about Dmitro's wife, don't do anything rash. Don't even think to leave him. His wife is going to be okay. She can survive without him. You, on the other hand, won't find a better guy. What does that hunk see in you? I just don't be the reason of someone's unhappiness. Don't take too much upon yourself. Everyone should think for themselves. If she wants to die because of a guy led her, if she is such a fool... Still, I feel shitty. I wish I could pack up and go. You aren't going anywhere. Don't add to Dmitro's problems. He'll follow you anyway. Also, don't be in a habit of deciding for other people what's good for them. They can decide for themselves. Yes, I understand. He couldn't at least call and tell me what's going on. But this piece... Gran, are you awake? Granny, did you hear the gunshot? Gran. Grandma. She must be with Roman. Okay, get rid of it. Make sure the body doesn't surface. I don't want any problems. Also, send someone to clean the room. I shot through the pillow. They need to get rid of the feathers and blood. As you say. Don't leave traces on the stairs. Well, old nag, did you see it? Never mind. I'll get to you. Where are you? If you say a word to anyone, I'll blow out your brains. Baby? What are you doing here? Don't touch me. You killed him. Listen to me. You killed them too. I saw you. What did you see? What, my darling? Oh, God. What? My father is a killer. No, no. You aren't my father. He lied to me. You don't understand. Everybody has been lying to me. No, you... Roman, too. My darling. He must have known I was adopted. Don't touch me. You scare me. It was self-defense. He broke into my bedroom. What could I do? I remember now. I remember everything. What do you remember? How you killed my father. And then my mom. There was a lot of blood. And my daddy. My daddy was soaked in their blood. My dear girl. Don't touch me. Leave me. Okay, excuse me. Why are you eating candy so late at night? Now that you've got yourself a man, you think you can get fat? It's not that. I feel uneasy, that's all. I'm shivering all over. I had a bad feeling before too, but now it's worse. How about some sedative? Something to help you relax? Or maybe a shot? Dimitro. I want Dmitro. I'll feel better as soon as he comes back. Okay. Call him and ask him when he's coming back. 
No, thanks. I don't want to impose myself. Well then, keep it in your can, dear. It's all so weird. Wake me up if you need me. I hope your premonition is false, though. He's here. Call the cops. Why me? You have a burner phone. You take it. Call them if you want to. I'm not talking to the cops. You're absolutely useless. Yes? Hello? Nadia. 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 Shit. Nadia. Nadia! Nadia, darling. Nadia. Dimitro, Dimitro, darling. What happened? I don't know. These two guys broke in. They tried to rape me. I beat one of them. He hit me, and I fell down. That's all I remember. Do you remember texting me? I didn't text you. Nadia, you're behaving like a little girl. Come on. I told you not to let strangers in. You know that with my job I have lots of enemies. I'm so sorry. I thought it was you coming back. I was so happy. I'm sorry. Nadia, you need a doctor. It might be a concussion. And you'll probably need stitches. Nadia, wait. I'll call an ambulance and bring the first aid kit, okay? Dmitro, I was so scared. Please, please. Don't abandon me, okay? Never, never. Don't leave me. Don't go away. Please. It's okay. You're going to be okay. Shit. Finally. Alessia, what are you? I have remembered. I saw that killing them. Oh my god, come in. Come on in. How can I go now? How? He's my dad and I love him. Easy, easy. Relax. I need to tell you something else. Tonight I hear a gunshot. I thought it was a dream, but I went to explore and... What? What was it, Alessia? I saw them coming out of the dead's room with your godfather's body. Dad had a gun in his hand. He killed him. He killed him, you know. And what's even more scary, he spoke about it as if it wasn't a big deal. As if about going for a walk and not about taking someone's life. I don't know him at all, Clara. I don't know him. Unless you wait. Do you mean Uncle Grigory is dead? Yes. He killed him, and he said it was self-defense. Is Grigory dead? Yes. My Grigory... dead? Is it true? I can't believe it, Grigory. You couldn't have a decent life. And you couldn't die a decent death either. Calm down, Alessia. Think hard. Maybe he didn't kill him. Maybe he was just wounded. I saw the body myself. He killed him. What shall I do? I can't cover it up. Clara, run. Run! Please call your Dmitro right now. Let him deal with it. Don't interfere or he will kill you too. Clara, 
Do you hear me? Go, Clara. Grigori. Come here, Aunt Lucia. Okay. I'll send a patrol. I'll come in a while. Nadia? No, she didn't try to kill herself. She was attacked. I'll tell you later. No. Are you crazy? You're not going anywhere. Isn't it enough that he killed your godfather? I'll take care of Zubov. Stay with your sister. Listen, Clara, since you're with Olesia, I will probably spend the night here at the apartment. I don't want to leave her alone in this condition. She has had a bad day. Yes, okay. See you tomorrow. Be safe. You look a lot like her. I mean, like yourself as a kid. Foxy. Foxy. Yes, you all called me that. Godfather came up with that nickname. He loved us a lot. Maybe he wasn't the nicest man, but he was okay for a godfather. He always cared about us. He'd say we were his only family. I think it was true. Tell me about them. Our parents. I barely remember them. Only some flashbacks. I dream about them. I always have. I didn't know it was memories. Mom, she had tender hands and warm too. When she laughed, her eyes would start watering and sometimes she even cried. Dad was always the first stop in the morning, and he would make us his signature breakfast. They loved us a lot, Alessia. I will complain to your bosses. This is outrageous. Breaking into law a bidding citizens' houses and searching their bedrooms. Mr. Zubov, as I've already told you, somebody heard a gunshot and saw people carrying out a body. This is more than enough for a search warrant. Who saw it? What body? Don't you see? The room is clean. Yes, I would even say too clean. Looks like you have had a spring cleaning. Yes, I like my room tidy. My housekeeper cleans it every day. Tell him, Allah. Yes, Mr. Zubo is right. I clean it every day. He likes me to mop the floor every day because Alessia is allergic to dust. See? And I pay her decently for it. Over the counter, by the way. If it's a crime to be fastidious, arrest me. If not, please get out of my house. Tomorrow will be a hard day, and I'm exhausted. I'm burying my wife tomorrow. Don't worry, we'll leave soon. There's only one more thing left. What is it? I am sorry it took so long. It was a long ride from the city. Right. Hello, Alexander. What do we have here? Who is he? Forensic specialist. Okay. What is he doing here? This isn't a crime scene. Excuse me? Okay. What are you looking for? Excuse me? Okay. Let's see. Okay. Here. Well... Well... Maybe the body isn't here. But we have more than enough blood traces. What can I say? With blood loss like this, this person hardly can be alive. I don't understand what's going on here. This is a setup. How did the blood get here? Don't worry. We'll find out. Ha, ha, ha.
My darling. My dear baby. How could you abandon me? Please don't. Your heart. She was my heart. Mr. Zuboff, are you all right? Don't torture yourself. Mommy. Mommy. Baby. Don't touch me. Calm down. Please calm down, my dear. Good morning. Morning. I have made you breakfast. Thank you. Like in good old times. Right. Those times are gone. Dimitro. Please forgive me. For all those lies and troublemaking, I'm really sorry about that. Really sorry. I should have started taking those pills right away. They're good stuff. I took the first one yesterday and felt better already in 30 minutes. They cleared my head a bit, as if I wake up after a long sleep. And then I looked back and was horrified with everything I have done. Right, it happens. Not to me. But now... I want you to know, I didn't plan on cheating on you, really. It's just... It was in Paris. My triumph. We had just finished the performance at the main stage. My dream came true, you know? And then the reception and everything was so nice that I had too much to drink and lost my head. I paid dearly for my lies. The doctor said that I will never be able to have children. I am very sorry. So am I. But I deserve it. It was God's punishment because I don't deserve to be a mother. Nadia, relax. Everything's fine. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It's my nurse. I just... I know. I know it was all my fault. I go in to file for a divorce? Yes. You think we don't have a chance to save our marriage? Nadia, with all due respect, we both know this isn't a marriage. I see. All right. But still, I want you to know that if you ever decide to come back to me... No, I'm not coming back. Because of her? Because of me. All right. And then go ahead.
take care. Be strong. I am with you. I'm not going anywhere. Give me your car keys. You're in no condition to drive. Look in my purse. Baby, we need to talk. Come home, please. I can't lose both you and your mom. The house feels empty. Take me away from him, please. Let's go. I need you to get rid of this Clara. Now. I'm not sharing my daughter with anyone. And if you fail again, I'll get rid of you. You know me. And if you doubt me, you'll share the grave with the ghost. Also, I want complete discretion. The hitman cannot know who the client is. Got it? I've had enough of these scandals. Will do, boss. I heard your daughter has left you. You deserve it. You will die alone like a jackal. I want you to know that the police have not just my late husband's memories, but also my statement where I said that you threatened to kill me. When did I threaten you? What does it matter? I'm a fool, aren't I? I don't know anything. While Lisa was alive, she somehow kept you in check. You didn't want to upset her. Now your hands are free. But if anything happens to me, remember that the police has my statement, naming you as the culprit in case I die. So before doing anything, think it through. I won't leave you, even if I'm dead. Hi. How did it go? Okay. Alessia is very upset. She is in a bad shape. That could be expected. She has just buried her mother. Where is she now? She asked me to take her to Roman's hospital. You know, at a certain point, I even felt bad for Zubala. Godfather was right. He loved his wife a lot. I know how he feels. I can't imagine losing you. So you... aren't you going back to Nadia? Are you serious? Silly girl. <laughs> What have you been thinking? You spent the night there? In the living room, on the sofa. Nadia was attacked by two bastards yesterday. I took her to the hospital. They said it was a concussion. I didn't want her to be alone. What if she got worse at night? But she's okay now. She's fine. How awful. Do you think it was Zubo? Definitely. He was trying to subdue me. It's okay. I'll deal with him. 
today. What do you mean? Are you going to arrest him today? Yeah. We're waiting for the judge to sign the warrant. Really? We're going to take him. Yes. Our investigation plus Evgenia's statement plus her husband's notes have brought fruit. Suddenly things have clicked. The missing evidence, the witnesses. You wouldn't believe how many new crimes we have uncovered. I dread the moment when I'll have to sit down and start the paperwork on all this. I'll go AWOL for six months, at least. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. You're not going anywhere. I'll get a job as your stenographer if I have to. Yes. Do you think Zubo's lawyers won't help him this no, time? No, the evidence is so graphic that even my boss had a fight with the governor today when the latter tried to protect his friend. Connections are a big thing, but Igor Valentinovich didn't want to lose his job. Yes. I can hardly believe it's all coming to an end. I'm so glad we did it. <laughs> I pray to God that it really did work. You think Zubo will try to get back at us? I'm sure he will. So please, be careful and vigilant. You were a part of it too. Yes, a big part. I promise I'll be very careful. Will you be mad at me if I go to work right now? Of course, I'd love to spend the rest of the day with you. Sure, sure. Your job is more important. Go. Someone in this family needs to be a breadwinner. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Be careful, okay? Hi. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm fine. I have this weird feeling. Then I was saying goodbye to Dmitro right now. I thought it was the last time. Nonsense. Your nerves are afraid, that's all. No wonder a lot has happened. Did you eat anything? See, that's why you're losing your mind. Come on, I'll cook you something. Are you going to feed me? This is new. My mother-in-law is getting arrogant. Yes, sir. If she really has filed a report, it's bad. <clears throat> Call off the guys. Let her be. I will get rid of her sooner or later anyway. Sir, maybe you should leave the city temporarily after all that has happened. To heal, so to say. You've just lost your wife. It's a huge blow. Are you saying I should run away? Of course not. I mean, a treatment course abroad, as far as I know, you weren't forbidden to leave the country. Maybe you're right. An air-conditioned suit on the beach is better than a jail cell. After all, nothing is holding me here. My daughter has betrayed me. Let her. Let her find out what it's like living without her daddy. Also, if anything happens to Clara, it would be better if I had an alibi. Go ahead. Find me a vacation spot in the country with no extradition treaty. When would you like to go? The sooner the better. Got it. Can I go? Yes. So you've always known I was replacing someone in your house? You took your own place. You saved my sister. I can't imagine what would have happened to Lisa if you hadn't entered our life. The real Olesia. How did she die? Leukemia. The kid was in remission. We all hoped for the best, but it hurts. 
when a little person dies. It's so unfair. Alisa. Alisa. Alisa who? I am Alisa Jarinova. I am Clara's sister. Did you know that? No, I had no idea. Your father, I mean my brother-in-law, said you were a daughter of old friends who had died in an accident. You had no family, so it was either a foster home or... And instead of telling me the truth, you said you were the adopted one. Don't be mad at me, okay? I didn't know how else I could explain to you that we weren't related. You don't know how it feels being next to the girl you love and having no chance to tell her about your feelings. I asked Lisa so many times to let me tell you everything, but she was afraid. Afraid of what? Losing you. That you'd turn your back on them if you find out you were adopted. My brother-in-law. I'm not defending him, but... If he... Ever had anything good in his life, then it was you. And Lisa. It would be stupid to deny that he really loves you. Yes. Mr. Zubov, may I come in? Go ahead. What is it? I just wanted to say everything's done. Here's your plane ticket. I have already checked you in. Someone will meet you at the airport. Leave it on the table. What's with the brood? I have it all figured out. According to the plan, in a couple of hours she will be dead. It depends on... No details. The less I know, the better I sleep. Where's Olesia? She visited Roman and went to Clara's. She's staying with her. That's what it came to. My daughter in this slum. The ungrateful girl. Is it fair? Do I have to leave without saying goodbye to my daughter? What if I get stuck abroad for years? Why don't you stop by and talk to her on your way to the airport? Why not? Something's telling me, though, that she won't want to talk. But I can try. Get the car ready. Aunt Lucia, hang in there. Don't cry for things you can't get back. You told me that. I'm holding up. It's the audience. I'm mad. He lived like a dog, and he died like a dog. We don't even have a body to bury. How many times did I say, Grigori, quit? But did he listen? It doesn't matter now. I'm scared for him, Clara. I used to live just like him. Never looking forward, one day at a time. But when I was in surgery and saw what was ahead, it's scary, Clara. I don't even want to think where he is now. Right. Godfather chose this path. He liked it. Walking on the edge, the adrenaline rush. What? Well, he is paying for his adrenaline now. Clara, could you go to the store? We're out of bread and milk. I'll give you the money. Forget the money. I'll be happy to go. It's winding myself up here, waiting for Dmitro and Alessia. 
Oh, buy me something for my headache at the drugstore. It's killing me. Of course. Don't I look good in your chair, Mr. Zuboff? Yes, come in. Hello. Hi. If you're here for Mr. Zuboff, he isn't home. No, we're here for you, Sergei Labatsky. That's me. We have a warrant for your arrest. It must be a mistake. You have no reasons to arrest me. Well, this is a questionable statement. Your previous boss, Mr. Adamovsky, has repeatedly mentioned you in his memoirs as a go-between in many criminal acts. He not just mentioned you, but quoted some facts, which we were able to verify. Some of your employees have already been arrested and are testifying against you right now. This is a misunderstanding. I've been slandered. These are some of the people who claim you had hired them. Some of them claim they have records of your conversations. I don't want to go to jail. I can't. I won't survive there. Listen. I'm ready to cooperate. I know you have bigger fish to fry. Well, the investigations department is prepared to look into it. If, of course, your information proves really valuable. Right, right. Let me think. Do you know that Zubov has just left to the airport? He wants to leave the country for an undefined period. I can give you the flight number. This is something. Write down the flight number. Yes, I remember all the details. I'll cancel his booking. Now, if you don't mind, I want to take a look at your boss's computer. We have the warrant. Do you want to see it? No, no, no. Thank you. I believe you. Did he leave in his car? Yes. He was going to see his daughter on the way. Where? At Clara's. That's where Olesa is staying. Interesting. Excuse me, are you going to arrest me? Yes, sure. Take a seat. You have no other place to be anyway. Practice for your jail time. What if he leaves the country? You won't be able to stop him, will you? What if I look for him myself? I could lock him up in some pantry. Katya, please be careful with Zubov. Or better yet, stay away from him. Right now, he is dangerous, like a cornered animal. I don't want you to be around when he is being arrested. Anything can go wrong. Promise me to go home, lock all the locks, and won't let anyone in until I'm there, except for Olesya. Dmitro, I'm kidding, of course. I won't even talk to him if I meet him. On second thought, I probably will. He is already here. Ignore him, or better go home. I'm sending a patrol car and going there myself. Okay, I'll try to chat him up until the police arrives. Don't do anything. Go away from there. Okay, sure. If you don't want me to talk to him, I won't. Okay, bye. Katya! Shit. Semenich, send a car to this address. Look who is here. I hope you aren't here for me. Where is Olesya? I'm not her keeper. Are you going somewhere? How something like this can be related to my daughter? I'm her sister, to be precise. Save your attitude. You won't have it for long. Neither will you. Are you threatening me, you snotter? God forbid. We have law enforcement for that. Oi. Oi. What is it? Getting itchy? I think I'm allergic to you. 
Baby. What are you doing here? Baby, we need to talk alone. Yeah, right. I won't leave my sister alone with you. Don't be ridiculous. She's my daughter. I wouldn't hurt her. Really? After you killed our parents? I don't know. We have nothing to talk about. The only thing you can do for me is go to the police and confess. What are you going to achieve? Do you want me to die in jail from stroke or heart attack? Just take a gun and shoot me right here. It would be more humane. Baby, I love you more than life. I can't live without you. Come with me. Don't you understand? It's not possible. You killed my parents. You did it in front of me. I told you it came back to me. Do you think I can love you after that? I'm afraid of you. I don't know you. The worst part is that I adored you. I loved you. Baby, give me a chance. Give me a chance to prove how much I love you. Don't lie to yourself. The only person you love is yourself. Let's go. Are you going to trade me, your father, for this? It wasn't her. It was I who was with you when you were sick, when you were bullied at school. Remember how I taught you to ride the bike? Actually, my real dad did that, Mikola. It was a tricycle, and she is need this, but my sister, the only family I have left. What can I do to redeem myself and prove my love? I'm sorry, Dad, you can't. I will never believe that you really love me. Stand back, you! What the hell? Dad, what's wrong? Dad! Are you okay? Dad! Daddy! 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 Don't leave me! It's a sniper. The shot probably came from that side. Attic window, let's go. Don't go. I love you, Daddy. Don't go. Daddy. Daddy. I don't get it. They didn't target him. They were shooting at me. He really loved me. Freeze! Hands up! Olesya Zubova. Liza Zubova. Oleksa Zubov. At least they are together now. Shall we? Are you coming? Yes, give me a sec. What are you thinking about? It's weird how one person could have so much good and so much evil in him. He really loved Alicia. Even though she was adopted. He saved me only for her sake. I think there is good and evil in all of us. We decide which side to choose, and we take the responsibility for it. Which side did he choose in the end? Probably Olesis. <laughs> yes, how interesting. <laughs> Guys, are you watching the barbecue? Do we have enough chairs? Oh, your favorite. Your favorite. She pickles them herself. The mushrooms? Can I taste it? Come on. You lose, you lose. That's not fair. I'm not playing. It's so tasty. It's my teddy, right, Mom? Sure thing. <laughs> Evgenia, I think it's time to make our relationship official. 
before we have to move our dating beyond the veil. This is for you, Evgenia. You can sit here. I must say, I must say, I'm impressed. I love you, Evgenia. Sis, I hope this one will be a boy. I don't know. What if it's another girl? So what? We'll try again. A fourth kid? Are you crazy? Did I tell you that five is my favorite number? That's right, son. Don't stop. You should take a leaf from their book. This is amazing. It looks perfect. Still, Yakiv, I need to think. You'll never catch up with me. Race you to the river. Lisa, don't go too far. Son! Lisa, do you hear? Lisa, don't run away. Yes, Mom. I wonder who she takes after. Remember yourself as a kid. Oh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.